I would like to ask a question in regards to the children and uh, on your world, how you approach teaching them the birds and the bees, if you will, and how you might suggest on our world and our society the best way to do that, uh, to teach them these things. Well, first of all, remember that in our society, we are wholly telepathic. Mm -hmm. So there are things that are simply innate because of the environment that the global telepathic link has created and allows our children to simply absorb information synchronistically at their own pace, at their own rate, when it is appropriate for them. So that happens almost automatically in terms of the downloading of certain things, certain forms of knowledge that they may require to understand the society they have chosen to be born into. On your planet, however, obviously there are various ways of communicating a variety of things. Now, it always starts with what we have already suggested in terms of the primary important steps that children require on your planet in order to be appropriately educated as to how to function in your earthly society to great advantage. Mm -hmm. And again, it starts with the idea of the parents or teachers, the adults, being creative and imaginative enough to create a safe space, be it a simulation or some sort of setup that allows children from a young age to understand the consequences of their actions. This then allows them to learn the idea of equality and respect and the idea that every action has a equal and opposite reaction in some way, shape, or form, and to learn to make constructive and positive choices so that they may create positive and constructive consequences that benefit not just themselves, but everyone, because they have to be taught how to look at a holistic system rather than just looking at things as a collection of independent parts, although both, to some degree, are necessary. The idea also is to teach them that they are as powerful as they need to be to attract whatever they need in life synchronistically in perfect timing without having to hurt themselves or anyone else in order to do so. And notice that we said what they need, not necessarily what they want, which doesn't always align with what they truly need. But if they are taught that if they get exactly what they need, they will have a life fulfilled and a joyful life, then they will begin to understand the principles upon which reality actually works in a way that benefits them. Also, anything that you deem is necessary for them to learn to thrive in physical reality, find a way, again, with your own creativity and imagination, to help them learn the lesson by adapting the lesson to their excitement rather than attempting to squeeze their excitement down into the lesson and limit it. If they are taught how to learn things based on what they are already excited about in their language, so to speak, then they will be eager to learn. And with these principles, along with teaching them the idea of the formula, then they will be able to grow as adults in a mature way, respecting all, respecting themselves, and what will come naturally in their behavior will be a way to experience any kind of relational encounter, be it sexual or friendly or otherwise, or business, in a manner that allows there to be a balance for all, a respect for all, an equality for all, and those factors will synchronistically guide them into the appropriate behaviors and actions that will allow all forms of relationships to be positive. 